especially when working with a wide band signals where it is difficult to guess the peak power and when we try to analyze these signals in any spectrum analyzer we sometimes see spectrum analyzer softwares like signal upc throwing up an error mentioning adc overload hello everyone i am koteshwar from tektronix i'm an rf applications engineer and a tech enthusiast in this video we will see what causes the adc overload error and how we can avoid such errors before that let's look into the prominence of adc in the spectrum analyzers today i have tektronix rsa306 it's a 9 kilohertz to 6 gigahertz real time spectrum analyzers so let's look into the tektronix rsa to understand the rf front end of the real time spectrum analyzer the two main important components of the front end are the down converter and the adc so let's look into the adc and its prominence in a spectrum analyzer to represent the discrete samples of the input signal it uses 14 bits the adc will have a field of view and is described by v full scale voltage vfs in short the maximum voltage that can be represented without losing any information loss of the input signal the field of u vfs plus vfs by 2 to minus vfs by 2 is divided into two n divisions where n is number of bits of the adc here the adc is of 14 bits so the field of u is divided into two power n divisions consider a signal coming in at a voltage same as v full scale voltage so here the input signal is been discretized and each level is been rounded off to the nearest level of the adc if the input signal amplitude is less than v full scale voltage the bits above the signal amplitude levels are not utilized hence we are not utilizing the full potential of the adc and if the input signal amplitude is more than the adc v full scale voltage vfs then adc will clip the signal because it doesn't have any bits to represent the higher voltage levels when clipping happens there is a high chance of getting wrong results so for better operation adc should always get a signal amplitude level which is near to its full scale voltage to maintain this the tektronix real time spectrum analyzer will have a variable gain and attenuator before adc to maintain signal level so the amplifier and attenuator in the rf front end before the adc input are responsible to maintain the input signal amplitude near to the v full scale voltage of the adc let's look into the spectrum analyzer software to understand the settings required to control the rf front end attenuation factor and the gain here is an example where adc is clipping the input signal and signal upc is throwing up a warning mentioning adc over range so let's see the settings to control it one easy way is using reference level reference level meaning the reference level for the signal analyzer saying that would be the maximum input signal's amplitude expected so when we set a reference level of 0 dBm that means spectrum analyzer it will expect a signal with a maximum amplitude of 0 dBm so let's change the reference level from 0 dBm currently to avoid the adc over range error so here i am changing the reference level and when we change the reference level we can see the adc overload error is not showing up now so let's understand by changing the reference level how the attenuator settings have been changed so here i open the amplitude control panel and if you see here input internal attenuator is linked to reference level let's change the reference level from 11 dbm now to 1 dbm so notice that input attenuator also changed accordingly and back it shows the data acquired 
has ADC over range. So remember reference level is now connected to input attenuator. Let's disconnect it. So let's change the input attenuator settings. I'm unchecking it back and increasing the attenuator to avoid the ADC over range. I changed it. Now if you see the error is gone. So easiest way of doing is through reference level and reference level also sets the y axis display. So when you want when you don't want to change y axis and when you want to avoid ADC over range, you need to go to amplitude settings and check the auto button. To summarize the discussion we had till now, always ensure the reference level is equal to the expected maximum input signals amplitude. Generally, the reference level is connected to the attenuation settings. Always ensure by checking this by going into amplitude control panel and the checkbox should be ticked. When it is not, you can tick the back and it will automatically set the attenuation settings. When you don't want to change the y axis and want to change the input signals amplitude at ADC input, we can increase or decrease the input attenuation factor directly by the control in amplitude control panel. Thanks for seeing this video. If you like, please share it with others and please subscribe to the channel where we will be posting all tech videos.